Backstage, the whole three piece of a soda bit, but we're happy to be here tonight. Leon Edwards approached him and he got a meal that he was not expecting. Ah. Let me tell you something, man. When you're in the arena, when you're in the O2 arena, you better be ready to fight backstage or inside the octagon. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Perfect execution on that team. got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Everything's landing perfect. Keep that pressure going. Early connection with the left from the champ. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Leg kick checked effectively there by the Korean Super Bowl. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. All right, so another ringing jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his base. The way that he throws the jab is fundamentally sound. Does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself ahead. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Defensively responsible, nice block. Beautiful. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Put your hands up high. Come on. Well, how good is that jab by the Korean Super Bowl? Straight punch is true. uses his length well yet again. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Just misses there with the left. So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Throwing that jab, no good. Big shot lands for both guys. Back out of there. Back out of there now. Clean hook there. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Oh, nice body shot. Unable to connect with the right. Go, 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 go. 60 seconds. Under a minute to go. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand connects. Swing and a miss by Choi. Fighter blocks a punch. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Fifteen seconds. Big elbow there, Reyes. Oh, 
Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, oh. Holy smokes! All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my favorite. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head away. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Set up to the leg kick. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Beautiful. Keep that jab working. That's a pretty good jab. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Fighting from your range is so important. Beautiful punch land. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend it. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. Well, that overhand big weapon. He's hurt bad. There's his jab. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Back and forth we go. Minute and a half to go round two. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Back to the jab now. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has. All right, well, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. 
30 seconds to go in round two. Oh! Twenty seconds left to go in round two. He throws all of himself into that kick. Ten seconds, let's go, baby. Ten seconds. Final seconds here of round two. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so we hit the end of the round, and the fighter quickly makes his way back to the stool. The cut man hustles in to apply some end swell. This swelling has gotten out of control. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, full round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot, Benny Lee. Great job. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Nice, solid punch lands. Ooh, big shot lands. Knee to the body there. Well, there's a ground and pound elbow of the body. Oh, another blow hits that cut. Referee might need to call on the doctor here soon. Fight that. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like, oh. All Looking for the counter right now, no good. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Though. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing... Oh. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Oh, gotta keep pushing here. That is gonna do it! Do Hall Joy! Oh, wow! That was nasty! Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. Here's 
Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and Steve.